I don't care about puns. <laughs> it's Gwent on Game Soup. Gwent, the Witcher card game, the closed beta. My name's Ed. My name's Joe. It's a closed beta. You can sign up for it now if you want to. Go to the website and sign up for it. The Gwent website. I think it's gwent.com or... Oh, just go to the Witcher website. I don't know. It's a dumb word. They probably got it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But they're, they're giving out batches of beta keys right now. Closed beta. It's going to be out sometime next year. I think their, their target is spring 2017. But for right now, we can take a look at it. And it's pretty interesting if you've played a lot of The Witcher 3, which I actually I have not. So I actually kind of like that I don't have the the very experienced Gwent. Uh, I'm, I'm not a super experienced Gwent player because I didn't play The Witcher for yeah. super, super long. I did get into it a little bit. But this is just the that card game, stripped and expanded. And from what I hear and from what I've sort of researched, it's been greatly expanded, which is great. Uh, it's also free to play, just like Hearthstone and a lot of other card games these days. And let's see, there, there's kind of a lot, to, there's always a lot to talk about, you know? Whatever, it's a card game. So you've got billions and billions of cards. I'll show them to you now. So you have a collection already? You do have a collection. Oh, you can mill unwanted cards. Mill. Mill. I guess that's dusting in this it's, game. Yeah, it's dusting. So yeah. I'm going to be drawing a lot of comparisons to Hearthstone. And for the most part, they're pretty accurate. Which yeah, is good. Hearthstone's probably the biggest online card game. Maybe right. maybe Magic Online's bigger. I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers. but I don't know. I don't know. Hearthstone but, and Magic are the biggest. Yeah. So in this game, there's no classes. Everything's divided into factions. So you have like the Monsters faction, the Northern Realms faction, the Scoia'tael faction. And they How each many? Have, we have six I think factions? there are... Four All right factions. now. With the there's another one coming. Okay. There's there's a bunch. Oh, and there's neutral. Right. All right. Right. So, uh, they're, you know the same rarity system like these these ones with the yellow square in the bottom right corner, uh, you know, represent red. I think legendary or there's like there's common, rare, epic, legendary. I think those four. So you can tell the rarity. But there's also in addition to that there is a different system where cards are either bronze, silver, or gold. And that has its own set of rules. Like, for example, these are this is a gold card, and most effects, if you're gonna if you're gonna fight somebody, don't affect their gold units. Like you can see the instructions here: set the strength of all non-gold units to one, so it wouldn't affect guys like this. So your gold cards are basically almost invulnerable to everything. Uh, and speaking of, if we go to are they like unique characters? Or they something? are, yeah. For the most part, I think they are, yeah. Okay. Um, and like for example, this deck that I've been using is you can play this guy. And he is a gold card, and you can only play him, because he's considered the hero of this faction, you can only play him once per game. But also, he's pretty much invulnerable. He pretty much can't be damaged by anything. Uh, so this well, is the deck. Okay, this is your deck. Yeah. yeah. So one interesting thing is that in this game, you have a max of 40 cards and a minimum of 25 cards in your deck. But you don't really draw cards throughout the game. You start with 10, I think, and you might draw, what is it, 2 every round? There are 3 rounds in each match. It gets very complex. So this is our deck that we're going to be working with right now. I'll just show you how it works. Actually, maybe I won't even use that because I want to use maybe I don't maybe I don't want to use that one. Monsters. Yeah. Let's use the starter deck actually. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll get out of here. So right now, the only thing you can do is you know you play against a friend or practice against AI or just play uh, just Hearthstone play mode, just a random opponent. There's no ranking system yet. And there is no single-player campaign yet, but there is going to be a full single-player campaign when this game actually launches. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, so it's a bit more complex in that in that way. But it's already a lot of fun, and it's it follows the same model as Hearthstone and a lot of other free-to-play games. You, for, you know, for um, for winning a match, you get a certain amount of ore, as it's called here, which is just the gold equivalent in Hearthstone. So you draw ten cards at the beginning of the game: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, ten. Uh, and you can redraw up to three. Three, okay. So in Duelist, you could redraw two cards. In Hearthstone, you can re redraw as many as you want. And in Magic, well, Magic has pretty shitty mulligan rules. So these these are... I'm still just trying to get the hang of oh, this. Oh, you get to see what your card is each time you click it. Right, yeah. It's, okay, that's you, that's different. Yeah, so you don't you have to do it. You get to see it. what your, your draw is. So that could change your mulligan every time. Right. Every time you see a new card. So it's kind of nice. So this is my hand for the entire game. This is all I have, which is weird because the lowest possible size of hand you can have is 25. So you're going to have at least 2.5 times this many cards in your deck, but you're not going to see over half of them, which is kind of nuts. So I think there's a lot more strategy and mulliganing in this game. Yeah. But you're only limited to three of them. 
So the way it works is there's no direct minion to minion combat, more or less, and uh, I'll get into that here. Yeah. So the basic strategy, this is the first round. There's th going to be two or three rounds depending on who wins this one and who wins the second one. So let's see, we can just start off with we can start off with just a, a, a low level card here. There's no mana costs either. I can play any of these in any order, but I'll just start with this one. So this one has a unique effect. Play all copies of this unit from your deck. Uh -huh. So I had two in my deck, my deck of 25 cards. And uh, he's... So he's adding four strength to this this uh, reinforced trebuchet. So some cards do have an effect. Uh, a lot of these just regular, you know, vanilla style enemies or minions don't have any effects at yeah, all. He's you can just see. a big guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So guess what? I have a tiny bit of experience with this game. I've actually oh. played The Witcher Three version of this game uh, a little oh, bit. Okay. But I kind of forget how to play. I only played it yeah. like twice. Oops. But uh, my wife was really into The Witcher Three, and I saw I watched her play The Witcher Three and play this a little bit. Yeah. And uh, she was trying to teach me how to play the card game because she knows I like card games, and I I, I didn't get too into it in the The Witcher Three version. You but um, I, yeah. I learned how to play, but I uh, like like I said, I don't really remember exactly how it works. If I had never played Hearthstone, I feel like this would have been easier for me to learn. Because I kept trying to draw comparisons where there were no comparisons to be drawn. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do remember that it was very different than like Magic: The Gathering or Hearthstone. It's, right. It's a. Uh, they didn't copy very much of the very many of the mechanics from those games. Right. It's it's uh, it's great to see a game that's so different, really. So I'm gonna play this prize-winning cow. I like this card a lot. It's basically a one-one. I mean, it dies in one hit to anything, and then when it's killed, it, it spawns a chort or a court a chort unit which is, I think, 9 strength. So in this game, strength is basically your attack and your HP. So you don't you don't kill kill minions by reducing their HP to zero, you just reduce their strength or increase their strength. Yeah, you only have one number to worry about right, on each, yeah. and so, each card. Right, yeah, exactly. And you can see, if you add up my strength here, I have a total of 10, which shows up down here. And it shows on the, the left side there. Right. That's your sword, your frontline strength, right? Is that right. what it's called? Yeah, this frontline? is the melee, melee uh, ranged and siege lanes. Right. So you can say I have a total of ten, and my my you know total from all of my lanes is only ten, and he has twenty one. So right so now he's going to win. Right now, he's right? winning this round. Yeah. So you that, might want to throw this round. Too, that's right? exactly the thing. Yeah, yeah. I might just want to throw this round because I also have this card, which when this is removed from the field, which happens at the end of every round, it's going to spawn two two lesser golems at the start of the next round. So this right. might actually be a good time so that's to pass. A death rattle it has like a yeah. little broken skull on there. So I'm just just going to pass, and something that. It took me a long time to figure out was that when you pass during a round, you forfeit the entire round. It's not just like you pass a single a single turn, like you, you would take a turn and then he would take a turn and then once it goes back to you, you get to play more cards. You just yeah. forfeit the entire round. Oh, I, I didn't remember that part, but yeah, yeah that's uh, but that's, that's actually an important part of the strategy. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. So anytime you, you don't want to play a card, you're pretty much forced to play a card every single turn whether you want to or not. So, but every game of Gwent is three rounds. It's best right. out of three. It's best yeah. two out of three. So, so if you, you win two in a row, then you win. But right, right. It's um. So he's forty-eight against my thirteen. He's killing me. He's crushing but you. He also he just used a lot of cards, I think, which he shouldn't have done because you don't draw more cards. I think you draw one, one or two. So I'll draw that one and okay. So you draw two cards. So we each draw two, but. Each card is... So, he's got a win, but you've got oh, card advantage he's now. he's wrecking me, though, as you can see, though. How did that do these, happen? Do these stay... How did these get played? I don't remember how these got played. So, these... I guess they stay on the battlefield. So, he's, he's gonna wreck me right now, I think. So, what we could do... Let's see. So, we have a weather card here. Which affects... This, this weather card affects everything on the ranged row. So, that will do nothing. We can destroy the 20 strength... Oh, I wish they were both the same strength level. We could destroy both of them. Oh, wait, could we? I think we could. On your opponent's side, yeah. remove one strength from it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That'll. Wait, did it work? What? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I don't, that's I don't know right. Why that happened. So. Oh, I thought I knew what happened, but clearly I didn't. So he's gonna wreck us. He's just gonna. He's just gonna wreck us. Uh, Alright, maybe we'll just try to get rid of that. This is a lot more complicated than yeah. the version that was in The Witcher 3. Wait, that was the strongest one? Uh, hmm. Okay, so this is a deck I've never played against before. I've never seen this. These are golden trebuchet cards. I've not played against these yet. So I think he's going to win here. And he played Siri. And I don't have this card. 
Is that like a legendary? It's, uh, yeah, she's one of the I main think, characters in the game. Yeah, yeah. In Witcher Three, it's purple, so it might be epic. I'm not sure, epic or legendary, but the most important thing is that it's gold. So right. it's it's pre pretty much impossible to remove. So let's see. I pretty much I have nothing to lose. So we're just gonna play all these cards and see what happens. Uh, Sounds good. We can use our our essentially our faction bonus here, which is once per game you can use this hero card. And I'll play. And he's just a straight up like a golden ten. 10 strength enemy. Why is that happening? So the thing is, since this is still in uh, closed beta, not everything is implemented, such as tooltips, and no nothing is really... Not not nothing, but things are not as well optimized as they could be. So sometimes when I'm looking for an explanation and I don't see it, like I want it to be somewhere and it just isn't there. So that has happened occasionally. But I think there's a lot of work to be done still, which is, you know, they're shooting for a, a release pretty far away from now, so I think they all have time to do it. Choose a non-gold unit on the battlefield. Yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking good, Joe. This is this is a terrible first game to show. Terrible. Uh, let's see. We'll just play some strong guys and see what happens. So he's going to wreck us with these. Add one strength to all your other copies of this unit, wherever they are. Every two turns, remove two strength from a random unit on your opponent's side of the battlefield. Oh, he passed. So if we can kill him, we'll get a win here. Right, but it's we're going to probably use all of our cards to do it, and he's going to kill us in the third round. Yeah. But we have to do it, because otherwise we're just going to lose now. Yeah, let's just you know? do it so that we can show what yeah. happens here. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, these are just wrecking us. They yeah, just automatically... Yeah. They're like, um... What's that? The 1-4 in Hearthstone that deals two damage at the end of your turn to a random minion? Just like that. It's like a machine or, or mech or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um... I haven't played the card in so long. Demolisher. I can't remember what it's called. Demolisher, yeah. yeah. that's the one. Yes, yeah, so these trebuchets are killing our guys almost as fast as we can get them out. So we have three cards left. When removed from the battlefield, actually, that's not... That's not great. It's not great. But you can see, we're like slowly creeping towards his score. He's at 49, we're at 34. We're getting there, sort of? Oh, here's a good one. Thunderbolt Potion. So you add four strength to all copies of a card. So we have two copies of this. Yeah. So that's some synergy. We can try that out. And we're, we're catching up. We're catching up, but I think he's going to kill something. So we're at 38, he's at 49. Can we get 11? We only have a weather effect here. Yeah, and it only hurts us. <laughs> so I think yeah. that's it. So yeah, we lose. Yeah, so, so yeah, we're just going to pass. Right? Yep. I guess you could just you could also just hit escape to forfeit, but... So we lost. The which is a that, bummer. The mm -hmm. way that the weather effects work, from what I remember, is they'll disable all units on both sides mm -hmm. in a certain row. So right. it'll be something that disable, disables both sides melee... Uh, melee rows, both sides archer rows, or ranged rows, or both sides... Siege? Right, rows? Siege. Siege yeah. rows, yeah, where those catapults were. So, it reduces so if we had the one that disabled both sides Siege, right? Uh, yeah, both sides Siege rows, then that would have been really good against him because he had, a, he was killing us yeah. with his Siege guys. That's, in, that's an interesting strategy. I, w I want those cards, but I don't have them. And I also don't have a lot of resources. But he said GG. So at the end of every game, you might have noticed down here, I had the option to send GG. There's only one emote in this game, and it's GG. You yeah. send GG, they get five ore. And if they send GG to you, you get five ore. Or five scrap. W scrap is basically dust in Hearthstone, and ore is basically gold. So this is the equivalent. So I got uh, a 20th of a pack. Which in this game is called a keg. <laughs> which, which <laughs> okay. actually, I'll, I'll show you that right now. So, and by the way, here are my stats up here. Uh, we have, you know, 50 gold, if you want to say it that way, and 35 dust. And these are the packs that we have. We currently have zero. I bought, I think, three or four. I think just for completing the tutorial, you get two. So I've earned, you know, like, what, 200 ore? Not that much. I think the pricing model is almost identical. It's 100 gold per yeah, one pack. It looks exactly the same as Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah. But actually, when you open cards, there's a really interesting difference. So when you open a pack in this game, you get four cards right off the top. And your fifth card is guaranteed to be rare or higher. So rare, epic, or legendary. And it presents you with three choices. It's like the discover mechanic. You discover three rare, legendary, or epic cards. And you choose one of them, and the other two are destroyed. So you get some flexibility in which card you'd like to have from your pack. That's interesting. It's, yeah, and it's it's I really enjoy that mechanic so far because it's it's let me choose the cards that I think I would do the best with, you know? So it's not just cut and dry, you, you get these five cards and, and there's you no a, you don't feel bad about getting you finally get a legendary in Hearthstone yeah. and it feels good, like you, you hover over that card and you're like, I'm getting a legendary yeah. and then it's some garbage like, exactly. bo like the boogeyman or exactly. boogie monster, I think he's called, but yeah, you get 
because that's how I felt. Yeah. The last the last set I got, I opened I think ninety packs and I only got two or three legendaries and two of them were garbage ones. Like one of them was the Boogie Monster. Yeah, Actually, I, got, I think I got two copies of the Boogie. Yeah, Monster. I think you did actually. I think I remember that. I got Boulevard Four Dragon twice as well. Yeah, it's wait what happened? It feels bad. So yeah, with this. And maybe maybe you'll, if you've played the game for a long time and you, you get to choose from three cards from your pack and it's maybe you have all the good cards, so maybe you will pick the crappy card just, yeah. just so you can f round out your collection. And the so, old, yeah. yeah, that's kind of it's kind of nice. It's, not, yeah. it's a little bone, throwing the player a bone, I guess. And also you're limited in each deck to the number of gold I think you can have four gold cards, six silver cards, and then the rest... I think you can have as many bronze cards as you want. Oh, okay. But, for example, if you have... You have but like, you know, say you have more than you could ever need in a deck, more than the the legal limit of a card in a deck, like a fifth gold card, then you can just, you can dust it, essentially. So, like if I have five, five Geralt's. You have Geralt? Yeah, he actually is, uh, he just comes with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you, you just get him. Uh, we're going to throw at least one of these back. I don't like that card either, uh, but I really don't like that card. So I find that the problem right now is because I don't have a huge collection yet, I end up... Oh, I think we'll keep that. That's a weather effect for the front row, for the melee row. So we have a lot of melee guys, though. Yeah, we do. Actually, you're right. You are right. You are right. Maybe we can use it for one of the rounds, though. Maybe we could just get rid of it. I don't know. You you know you, you've played this more than me so far, yeah, so... that's all right. Uh, so my collection is not that big, so I find that a lot of the times when I'm trying to reach the limit just the, the lower limit for a deck. It has to have at least 25 cards. I find myself just putting in crap cards because, like, cards that don't necessarily have any synergy or, you know, cards like this yeah. that have no ability just because I need to fill, fill out my deck. And that's that's kind of crappy. It feels like you're diluting your deck a little bit until you have enough synergistic cards that, you know... But they're taking money, right? They're, you can you can still pay to win? Yes, or, yeah. Yeah, pay to, right. pay to get better cards faster at the very least. Right. So you can do that. And actually, this game doesn't have a quest system. As of yet, I don't know that it will. I, I'm making an assumption here that maybe the single-player campaign will, will also reward you with ore and scraps and all that stuff, but I don't know. But there's no daily quest system, so there's not as much incentive to play every day. It's sort of a, you know, play at your own leisure type of thing. And of course, this is closed beta, so that could be that could be changed anytime. But that's the way it currently is. A card like this that pulls cards out of your deck, mm -hmm. especially a weaker card like this, is a good thing because later on you're not going to draw those weaker cards, right? Right. Right, yeah. exactly. So it, it thins out your deck. Yeah. So that's a good, good mechanic. There are, there are a couple it's, of. It's good to get one of those in your opening hand only, yeah. which we did. So that exactly. was, that worked out perfectly for us. That's when redrawing is really good. And for example, this card does the same thing. So play all copies of this oh, unit from your deck. Be, that might be good. So yeah. it's his turn now, right? It's his turn. Yeah. yeah. He played. He played his hero. That's that, that was the first thing he did. He's just he's just dumping out he's, heroes. He's going out. He's going for power, but. That's not a bad strategy because I can't do anything to uh, to kill these guys. I can't hurt them in any way, pretty much. That was an, that one's animated. Yeah, it is. You're that right. Geralt. That's cool. Geralt. 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 Isn't it Geralt? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So I've heard his name many times. <laughs> so this might be a round that we would forfeit so that we can have more cards for the next round. He's already played two extremely high-powered minions here. Yeah, without any... They have no synergy either. Yeah. I don't know. Do we want to go for this one? I don't know. No, maybe we should not go for it because that golem's going to bust, right? Yeah, maybe we should just pass, you think? Yeah, just pass. All right, so let's, we'll just let's pass. pass. So we'll show you what... I, did we show this last round? I don't, I don't remember. So it's actually... It's good to establish very early on in a round whether you're going to win or lose. Yeah. And if you know for sure, just pass. You know, because then you'll save however many cards you needed just to tie him or just get closer to his score. That's a really interesting strategy. That I, I've never seen anything like this in a card game before. And granted, I haven't played that many of them. Oh! Oh no! What was his ability? So, okay, so that's the passive ability for this faction. At the end of each round, one random minion stays on the board. So his Geralt is still on the board, and oh. our Golem is on the board, oh, which that's... means it didn't explode. So this is a mere, yeah, this is a mere match, yes. right? Yeah. So we're both the same faction, and we just had bad luck here then. Yeah. Really bad luck. So yeah, the that, worst luck possible. That was the best card he could have gotten. Yeah, he had a fifty-fifty, yeah. and we had a exactly. one in four. Yeah, that was that's really bad. Another place that synergy can hurt is when you're playing the prize-winning cow. If that card stays on the board at the end of the round, you're like, that's, ah, crap. Yeah, that's no good. And yeah. also, we have to win this one and right. the next one. We have to. So maybe now's a good time to play our our Witcher. Yeah, probably. Let's do it. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. I love that voice actor. 
Yeah, what's his name? Do you remember his name? Geralt. Yeah, Geralt. In real life. Gerald. His yeah, name is Gerald. pretty good. He had to read a lot of lines for The Witcher 3. Yeah, wasn't The Witcher 3 like hundreds of thousands? I think it was longer than most novels. There was some stat floating around for a while. It was a ridiculous amount of lines. Yeah, there's so there's so many side quests and so many possible dialogue options in that game. It's yeah. ridiculous. Oh. Maybe it's, it might be the most ever. Even more than like the Mass Effect games. So this is going to be good very soon. So what this does is it takes an entire row or an entire lane. And remove three strength from all. Oh, that's going so to subtract his score by nine. It's going to kill all of these. And yeah. they get put into the graveyard and by uh, with, with luck, they'll never come back. There are some cards that do access the graveyard. Is this the resurrection class in this game? This? I don't, I don't know how to compare them to, uh, you know, to other card games. I don't really want to play Manticore. Yeah, it's it's it does uh does seem hard to compare. Like Hearthstone's yeah. very easy to compare to uh, the world the world of, yeah World of Warcraft uh, trading card game and Magic the Gathering because the rules are very similar. Right. But this doesn't seem to have. Well, this is the Monsters faction. Yeah. And it seems to revolve around or not revolve around, but it it heavily features going to your graveyard, like borrowing things, stats or oh crap, enemies from the graveyard, uh, from your opponent's graveyard or your graveyard. That swipe is going to be pretty good now, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Well, it's going to be the same as it was last turn. Yeah. Except it won't kill them. Well, we, can, well, we might not want them dead, depending on right. if he has graveyard effects. Do which we have? We Wait. don't know. Did we draw another one of these? Hmm. Play all copies of this unit from your deck. Oh, no. I, I just think we actually didn't play this. I think it was his that I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played yeah. it on... So, like, we only have two of this. I only own two copies of that card. What was the deck limit? Three of each card? Th th yeah, three. So if I had four of those, you could mill, you could dust one of them. Right. But I don't have three. I only have two. So playing that card is not as... I don't get the full value of that card. You know? Which means that, you know, to fill in that extra space in my 25-card deck, I have to put in a card that doesn't relate to it at all, which is worse, probably. You know? Like, I'm not really getting the full value of it. So that's a bummer. Um, Add eight strength to a non-gold unit or 12 strength to a Witcher unit. Well, I think yeah. we have a Witcher. We do. Do. It's kind of putting all our eggs in one basket, but... Yeah. I was kind of hoping he would do that on this row. Hmm. Well, a pretty safe bet here is to play the cow. <laughs> yeah, just throw the cow I can't out. believe I said that. I never, never thought I'd say that. Is there a limit to the number of cards in a row? It looks like we're going to reach our limit. It does look like it, but in, in play, I've never found there to be a limit. So there might be, but I have not yet found it, if there is. It could be, what, Six. seven, maybe? It looks like ten. Ten? It looks like there's room for ten. Yeah, I don't know. Which is basically your entire hand, right? Yeah. Your hand size is 10 to start the game, so... Yeah. I feel like it's not ever going to... Oh, Jesus. So he, oh, what did Jesus. he just do? Oh, he just frosted the melee the me row. And and he also played fog on the ranged row. But these guys are immune to frost, and these guys are immune to fog. <laughs> How did he do that? Uh, what did he Is there play? one card that does that? White Frost. There you go. It says what he did. If, maybe White. you can mouse over on the left um, side there where it says White Frost. If you look in the graveyard, that usually does oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, Spawn Frost and Fog. That's what happened. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's crappy. Well, that worked out really well for him. Yeah. You know, we used to. I used to have a card in this deck that was called Clear Skies that removes all weather effects. Yeah, I've seen that one I in the old, yeah. old Gwent game from the... But this is bad because I clearly don't have it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to lose. That's unfortunate. Man, this was... We, this have to, was <laughs> we have to go all in. Yeah. Yeah, I think but we will. we can't put anything on the front. If you well, if you buff that guy, does that do anything? I can't buff you him. You can't buff him because... Well, these guys I can because they're immune to frost. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to do that. Can I do it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like I said before, sometimes I want information. Like, I want tool tips. Like, for example, I want to know what white frost does. Yeah, if you could just mouse over it, yeah. it would tell you. Like, it's obvious that it creates frost on the two front rows, but what does frost mean? You know? But I think basically all weather effects do the exact same thing. They just re reduce strength to one if it's a non-gold card. Or yeah. it's, it's immune like this one is. But, you know, the first couple of days when I was playing this, I was totally confused by this. But it's good that they show you that this is active, you know. I mean, not that you couldn't tell from just looking. Uh, and we can also look in the, in the opponent's graveyard. He has three. Oops. So this is kind of nice to see what's in here. But you also don't get the... You know, you have the log on the left-hand side of the Hearthstone board. There's nothing quite like that, I think. But we can see his deck size. Yeah, I don't see anything like that. You yeah. would think they would make that prominent enough that... Yeah. That it would be easy to find, but... Actually, we can kill all... We can kill these three guys and really, really smack that one around. Non-gold units on both melee rows. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, not looking good at all. 
Maybe we'll just do that. We'll get rid of those guys. Sweet. But we're still going to lose. No, I think we're, we're still, still going to lose. We're still losing. Yeah, this is not... We still got two catapult guys. Oh, no, we have one catapult guy. Yeah. What is it? It's like a, it looks like a mana core. What does he do? Mana core. No ability. Oh, it's actually called mana core. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. This is really not indicative of my success. So far, I, I've won, like, half of my games. In the, oh, he's choosing which card to move to graveyard. I like playing a game for the... I like getting into these games for the, for the first time. I usually have really good luck, too. When I was playing yeah. Duelist... I started my own account. I started an account after we played Duelist on the channel. I uh, I haven't been playing it that much since then, but I played it for a couple of weeks, pretty much every day, and I won. I think my first twelve games in a row. Oh my god! When I was playing it, nice. I think it was a lot of luck because nice. I was just learning how to play, and I was it was putting me up against other people who obviously were learning how to play. Yeah, yeah. So I think you get the same feel a, here as well. Yeah. You know, like my first couple of games, it seemed like the people that I was playing against were about as skilled as me, which is to say that they had very little skill. Yeah, I, th I think you know? I think that most of these games have a, a pretty good matchmaking system for casual matches. Even Hearthstone does. The way Hearthstone yeah. works is it p it pits you against somebody who's played a similar number of games that you have. So it's going to pit me against people who've played thousands of Hearthstone games. Right, right. So that's I'm usually playing against somebody that's roughly at my <laughs> skill level or who has at least played as much as I have. Hmm. But in ranked, obviously that's that's different. This is bad. This is bad, man. Bad. He's gonna wreck us. Yeah. I think well, what's that guy even gonna do? Nothing, right? Well, he's actually gonna add to the score because he can't be removed. He can't be his strength can't be diminished by oh, weather effects. Right, because he's gold. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that was. Yeah, like sometimes that'll happen where a card will play and you don't know what happened. I think something just moved into our graveyard and the mana core just lost two strength, but I don't know why. You know, like sometimes things are not as clear as they could be. Remove two strength from all opposing non-gold units. All, all opposing. Great. He has better cards than us. <laughs> yeah, he definitely does. He definitely does. All right, I'm gonna get my credit card out after this game. All right. I think we're just gonna forfeit this match because I don't think we can do it. Do you want to forfeit? Yes. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get out of here. We'll go into our next match. Let's try and win one. Yeah. This is really depressing. I got on this morning and yesterday morning and the day before and the day I think the day before that as well and okay so he he said GG to us so we got five gold which is nice. Did you GG him? I did. Yeah, I always GG no matter what. Yeah, well, you might as well because I mean the fact is you can't emote anyway, so it's not like you control each other. The it's only kind of rude not to GG yeah, then. That's the thing. In fact, I got uh, the first time that somebody didn't GG me was about three hours ago and I was angry at them for not GGing me because it feels like that should just be the norm. You know, it's like a consolation prize for for uh, losing a match. We're gonna try again. Do you want to build a deck? Do you? Can you? Yeah, we can show that. Let's do that. We'll build another deck. We'll try a different faction here. Deck builder. Do you have? Did you get? Did it throw a bunch of packs at you already? From from like the tutorial and just starting. Yeah, from just starting. I the think game? it throws you two. Oh. Two or three maybe. Oh, uh, it doesn't. So it doesn't give you a whole lot. No. Like I remember Duelist when we started playing that. That was just like pack after pack after. Yeah, it's not resources like that and at all. Hearthstone throws a decent amount at you, but Duelist was extremely generous and this seems to be less generous than the other, yeah. the other games but again it's not finished so that could also change mm -hmm. so here's the, oops, that last faction that is not implemented yet but Nilfga soon Nilfgaard we've got four this All is right. when we've been playing the monsters deck so I don't love the bonuses of this one uh, either of these really this is at the beginning of one round per match you can choose who plays first hmm. I guess that could be useful in some situations it's probably if you're good at the game if you're yeah. better at the game you might yeah. be able to tell when that's useful this is if you have a lot of gold cards Every gold card gets plus two strength, which seems really good because it can't be decreased by anything. At the end of each round, do we have ones. four gold cards that I we can put in a deck? I don't think we do. Doesn't we seem can, good then. We can check. Let's 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 check it out. Oh, that was our hero card. So this is our hero card. There are a couple different hero cards I think for every for every faction, every deck that you make. Yeah. So I, I only have this one. Yeah. But if I had a different one, he would have a different ability there. Right. So let's see. Um, we can look at our gold cards. We have one. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. No, then. it's Let, not Let's work not bother all. with this one. Let's try and get some synergy going yeah. here. All right, let's try. At the end of each round, add one strength to the original value of every unit in your... Oh, so you get stronger each round. Yeah. In your hand decking. That seems good. Let's try that let's one. Let's try it. So this, this one is... Create and play two clan and on crate warrior units? Sure. Okay. Sure. Cool. <laughs> all right. So I think the first thing to do is to put in uh, Geralt. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? Makes sense. And, okay, he did, these are silver cards. Uh, man, I love that cow. we got to put that cow in. Scorch is good because it's basically a destroy the strongest minion on the battlefield. So if you have a lot of right. small units, 
Yeah, we're probably going to have the weakest units. We yeah. seem to have not as good cards as our opponents so far. Let's see. Draw one card and then discard one card for your hand. That's like another redraw. That's solid. That's kind of nice. All right, let's try that one and choose three non-gold units and remove two strength from them. That also seems good. How many silver cards are we allowed? Uh, six. Six. Oh, yeah. we can just put them all in, we, probably. Yeah, we could just put them all in. Oh, let's just do we that. Just throw them all in. Yeah, let's do it. I don't think we... We have five. We have a huge amount of choice here. Yeah, that's the problem. So there's plenty of these bronze cards to go around, but most of them are, you know, not great. Not synergistic. Here's a, an Injured Blade Master. Total cards, six. Remove two strength from this unit. Is that on Battle Cry? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Discard all copies of the, this unit from your deck to your graveyard. Why? And sometimes it's the fog effect. Yeah. Sometimes it's things like this. Why? Why? Like why? In what situation would this be the most beneficial to you? I guess graveyard effects. I guess our graveyard effects. We haven't really seen any yet, though. I don't yeah. think the monsters deck had a couple. When you when played from the graveyard, add four to this unit's original strength. So there mm. must be this must be uh, there must be a way with this faction to play cards from the graveyard. Okay, transform into a bear upon entering the graveyard. <laughs> so okay. we need some way to get him back. And until we do that. Oh. That's kind of cool. But this card only has three strength, so... Right. Who knows, who knows if it'll stay alive. Choose a non-gold unit on your side and add four strength to its original value. Okay. Transform it to a young bear if this unit's strength is reduced but not destroyed. So even the effects are very, very different from, from Hearthstone. Yeah. Each time another unit on your side of the battlefield has its strength reduced, but is not destroyed. That's really specific. Yeah, yeah. Choose a bronze unit from your guard from your graveyard and play it. So that could be good. Yeah, let's take let's try that. that. We have two copies of that. Uh, Lacerate, I really like. That's like the swipe. The swipe. Double the strength of all weakened non-gold units. This card isn't as good as I thought it was because a lot of the time your cards will either just be destroyed, like they'll either have full strength or just be destroyed. Uh, weather card. And of course, potions. This one's pretty good. Swallow potion at 8 strength to a non-gold unit or 12 strength to a witcher unit. So let's take that one. Epidemic. Destroy the weakest non-gold units on the battlefield. This is good if the opponent has a lot of, like, two strength minions. Like, the yeah, ones that yeah. summon all a the lot of in the small deck. ones. Yeah. I guess we'll take it. Choose a non-gold unit and keep it on the battlefield at the end of this round. That also seems good. Yeah, well, we're going to have Geralt, right? Oh, it's a non-gold unit, so we can't use that. Oh, yeah, non-gold. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so we don't have any single strong non-gold units, right? So. Right, right. And we have these we have these guys. Our strongest ones in this faction are seven. So maybe this faction is less focused on raw damage and more about effects, because almost all of these cards actually have effects on them. Yeah, all of them do, actually. That's a pretty significant difference. Discard all... Oh, yeah, we already saw this one. Remove two strength from this unit. Immune to rain effects. It's kind of nice. Two strength to all other non-gold units in this row. That seems good. I think it's uh, I think that icon up there, the 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 two arrows, yeah, any row, which yeah. is good. So you get to choose. Let's so that, let's yeah. let's take that guy. Let's take two we of those. to fill up the deck, right? Give me these. Oh, you just you have to choose what row it goes on. <laughs> I think, right? Normally you just whoa. There we go. I don't know if it matters right now. I think this is just for showing you. Yeah, it's. I think it's just to show you how yeah. many you have for each row. All right, I mean, Injured Blade Master? Sure. We still have to put in 10 more cards. Oh, let's get let's get the other one in there, too. I guess we'll put these in, these light long ships? I don't know. God, there's just so many options. There's just so many options. We only have... What's which? What's the card that grabs a card from your graveyard? Is that any? Does that grab any unit from your graveyard? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Did, I think we put that in, didn't we? Yeah, we put it in. Yeah, where was it? Which card is it, though? Was it this one? No. Was it... No. Choose a bronze unit from your graveyard and play it. A bronze unit. Right. So that's good with a big... A big minion. Yeah, so a let's big, put those... A big card. Yeah. Let's put these light long ships in. I guess we put all three in. Because I don't know what else to fill with our... You know, fill in our deck here. Transform into a bear. Oh, great. What's a bear? I don't, I don't know. know. Put it in. Let's that's find out. Th oh, look. It tells you. That's good. Add two strength to this unit for each unit on the battlefield with strength below its original value. Below th each card's original value? So, like, if they're weakened or something? For each unit on the battlefield with strength below its original value. 
I guess that's for when cards are weakened or damaged. Okay, um, sort of like a warrior effect, I like guess. in Hearthstone. Whenever a card is damaged, you get some kind of a benefit. I don't know. I would throw them in. It's a graveyard effect, right? And we have yeah. a, we have a graveyard card. We still got to put four cards in. Yeah, toss two of those. We'll toss uh, what other spells? Special cards. Do we have any weather oh, effects? Yeah. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's get clear skies, huh? Sure. Actually, we could go. We could try choosing a weather effect that affects the ranged row. Yeah, we don't have a lot of range. Oh, right? here it is. It's uh, impenetrable fog. Yeah, in fact, we only have one because this one can go anywhere. Yeah, so just let's put those in. Sure. All right. Hopefully, 24. we go up against somebody that's that's ranged. Somebody that's not worrying about the siege row. Hopefully, man, all of our cards are siege. We got twenty six. All right, that's good. Let's just, play. let's get going. So you can see it's a lot more complex making a deck. Uh, oh, I didn't name it. Let's name it something. GS. GS gonna wreck ya. Yeah, right. GS gonna wreck ya. Alright, let's let's give it a shot, see how it goes. Creak, creak! God, my chair is so creaky. So it's really fun. I'm kind of a chair snob. I know. Should I talk about chairs? Sure, I know you're a chair snob. You love oh. chairs. You have good chairs. Yeah. You have two very comfortable... You still have two? Yeah. Yeah, I have two chairs. Two office chairs that are very comfortable. One is from Ikea, and one is from... Uh, a very, a very expensive brand Herman, of chair. Herman Johnson, Herman Miller. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? I don't have very much nice furniture and nice stuff at my house, but I spend a lot of time sitting for work, so. Oh god, these are all bad. And I, my back was killing me, so it's saved me a lot of pain and probably a lot of uh, doctor's bills, <laughs> so. Hmm. This is the problem with only having ten cards at the beginning. I don't want to throw away any of these. Oh, we're running out of time here. We don't need to. Oh. I don't know what to do. Let's get rid of one of these. For some, for what reason, I don't know. Keep her, keep her. All right. Let's just play. Let's just play. All right. That's probably the wrong thing to do, but I have no idea. We got we get a mirror match every time. Mm-hmm. You are right about that. I don't know why why that is a thing. Regis, he's a vampire. Spawn Regis, higher vampire. Oh, great. When removed. Yeah. All right. Crush on credit. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Draw one card and then discard one card from your hand. We'll think about that later, I guess. Uh, we don't want to play that. Choose a brunt. We don't have anything in the graveyard. Oh, have... oh God. We gotta we gotta drop something on the board. We just, yeah. why don't you just drop the seven guy? The... Just drop that seven. Yeah, light long just, ship. Yeah, just throw that on the board. Immune to rain effects. Yeah. We're the siege masters. We're, we're winning. Uh, this is called the Siege Master deck. I just named it. Oh Jesus! What is this? Draw two cards. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. He has to choose two cards to discard. Yeah, it seems wow. Like it. But he he's also drawing two, two. I think. Oh, he draws two. Draw two card and then do. Okay. Oh, discard two. draw two then discard two. Oh wow. To the graveyard. Back to the grave. Um, choosing which. Which cards to discard in a game is a slow... It's a mechanic that slows the game down. You notice that Hearthstone doesn't use it. Oh, this is not looking good. Whenever you discard a card from your hand in Hearthstone, it's random. Right. Yeah. Which is almost better. I mean, it's... It keeps the game moving, at yeah. least. I, could, I can't even kill this guy. From one non... They're both gold, so I can't even... Alright, I'm just going to use this guy, because I don't know what this does. It plays two seven sevens that get removed. Okay, it's these guys, injured blade masters. Hmm. So, actually, this is one of those times when we have two weakened enemies on weakened minions on our board, and there was that other card that buffed them or, or had this, some. Special what's this effect. nine nine attack in our middle in the middle of our board? Uh, how did we get that? Did he give it to us somehow? Uh, draw four cards, keep one in your hand, and discard the root. what? Uh... Did we play that? That might have been part of that our, our bonus, our, uh, our hero effect. We don't have anything in our graveyard. What? What? I feel like a fool because I feel like this should be obvious. But create and it's play not. two clan on crate warrior. Yeah, we already did that. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't we? We're, we're, we are winning. If we pass though, then he can He's, take it. Yeah. Let's mm. try to win this one. Yeah. Do you want to add strength, two strength to these guys, no, or let's we can save just buff it. a guy? Maybe buff we should a buff a guy. Let's buff a guy. Let's buff um let's buff this guy. Why not? Yeah, I don't know where this came from. 
ranged disloyal. Oh, I think disloyal cards, like a loyal card you play on your side, and then disloyal cards are played on your opponent's side. Oh, okay, so something he did gave us a 9 attack guy. So, yes. Oh, he passed. Okay, so we'll pass too. Obviously, yeah. So that means we win. Yeah. But I guess, okay, so maybe that was the bonus. He got he got to draw four, and then, what was it? Keep one in your hand and discard the rest, but in exchange, he gave us a nine strength minion. Okay, so he gets he gets a, a card, he gets a choice of one of four cards. Right. But we still get nine strength, seems like. But it's gone now, you know? So yeah. he did that probably knowing that he was going to pass that turn to us. Yeah, okay. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Draw one card, then just, but also, is it? it's in our graveyard, which if we had the right card, could be useful to us. Hmm. So if we know we're gonna lose, and we if we res a card, do we get that battle cry when she get when she comes into play? Do we know I, that? I don't know. Sure, right? Actually, we can't res it because it's gold. We can only res bronze oh, right, right can, now. Okay, so we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I guess we'll just do this guy. Throw this guy up there. And that vampire was turns into a ten. Yeah, and he's gold still, so we really can't do anything to him. I've heard that there are certain other cards that will affect gold cards, but supposedly they're super rare. Drag, bon dieu. I don't know. I don't know. I had two strength on non-gold units in your graveyard. Okay. So this is, might be even more graveyardy than the monsters deck I was playing earlier. What do we have in our graveyard? We have what are bronze units? We have the longship. Overall, I mean, the U the UI is lacking a few elements, but overall, the U like the look of it is good. Yeah. The graphics are good, and the uh, the way that it is laid out is pretty clear. And the icons and the artwork are all professional and good. Grab that longship. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Yeah, the UI certainly... They took a completely different approach. But all the information is there. So, but like I said, sometimes like you have to pull up a different screen to look at your graveyard or the enemy's graveyard. So I feel like it's a little more disjointed, but not necessarily to such a degree that it's going to become a problem, you know? Yeah, having the graveyard, having a graveyard in a game adds another. Like, you can't just display the graveyard, the full graveyard all the time. So yeah, it kind of needs to be a thing you got to click on. You have to click on it. Yeah. Um, we can play. Or we're winning right now. We are but if winning. We pass. He's gonna win with any with a, any card pretty much. Yeah, we can draw and discard. Is there something right? we, yeah, let's. Yeah, maybe we'll discard something. Oh, okay, that's great actually. Double an entire row strength. That's non non gold. So we have to discard one, though. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Mm. I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of... We want to keep the fog? Let's, let's get rid of clear skies. That's probably a bad idea. We'll see. I think we're going to get screwed by that. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he's going to... I, I bet he's going to ruin our back row. Our back. We're, we're depending oh. on that back row entirely, aren't we? But if he's playing yes. a deck where he depend, if if this particular class, this particular faction dep depends on the back row, why would he play it? Because his back row is his strongest row right now. Right? Right. No, it's it's strong, mm -hmm. but it's not his strongest. Oh well, yeah, he's got eight on his back row. Hmm. Choose a non-gold unit on your side and add four strength to its original value. I guess we can play that now. Sure. But maybe we don't want to load up. Ah, oh, whatever. So we could be greedy here. Put it on. Put it on. Oh yeah, we could be. Let's just be greedy. We're trying to win here. Put it. Okay. Put yeah. it on. Buff the two. Buff the two. All right. So what we could do is, yeah, we could we could double everything on this row. Yeah, that would be greedy. Or that. there's another greedy play here, which is add two strength to all other non-gold cards. This guy. So that's like a minor version of the war cry, the commander's horn. We won the first round, right? Uh, we did. So if we win this one, we just win the game. We win, yeah. We, let's so just go all in. I think we should, yeah. Hope, hope that he doesn't the, have a, a weather card. We've got one more card we could put on the back row. We can, we can also kill some of his guys now. Can we? We can kill... Choose three non-gold units yeah. and remove two strength from oh, them. Oh, no, I lied. We can't kill them, but we can weaken them. I mm. thought it was three. Uh, let's just be greedy, though. You want to try it? Sure. Let's... Is there anything good in our graveyard to res? With the with that priest lady? Clear oh, we just got a couple of these. Yeah. Clear skies. I don't oh. know if we can do that. Yeah. I don't think we can. Hmm. Now we can't. I don't think we can get that back. A bronze There's nothing unit. really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do the double. I guess the double or the. Okay. Let's double. Let's double. Yeah. Yeah. Let's double. All right. Yeah. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. That's pretty good. Accidental synergy. 
So I guess he's really going to come out in it. Wow. Okay. He has to, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. We're forcing him to play his best cards. I actually find this to be particularly exciting when this happens. You win the first round, and you also have a really, really good... Uh, you have lots of momentum going into the second round. It feels good when you're on that side. Uh, we can we can just hurt some of his guys. Each time another unit on your side has been... Oh, this is getting buffed every time we hurt something else. But oh, luckily, so we don't want to hurt something else. Right, we haven't done that at all. Wait, what's what's this one? Remove six strength from one non-gold unit. So we one have to kill something. We can't kill that guy. We can kill that's one of these. six plus two. Oh yeah, we could kill one of those, yeah. and that'll make that guy not less buffed. That'll hmm. make that middle row guy, the that nine attack yeah. archer row guy, well, go down. Well, should we just buff our guys again? I don't really know what to do. Let's just try that's this. Two strength. Okay, sure. We're really putting all our eggs in this basket here. Yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't have a weather effect yeah, that fucks us over. I feel like if he, if he did have one, he was he would have played it. But I could just be uh, wishful thinking here. Ranged. We could we could reduce this to one with our fog effect. Let's hold it and see if he plays more though. Yeah, he might. Let's just let's just keep throwing our cards on the board. All right. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Just we maybe don't... kill one of those fives. Yeah, with our our thunder here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's kill. Uh... Yeah. Let's do that. Good idea. Bow before he has more cards yeah. than us. Yes. Oh, he's rezzing a guy. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, so the takeaways for Gwent, if you're if you have not ever if you've never played Gwent in The Witcher 3, and you've never played Gwent in the closed beta, takeaways are you only you have only so many cards, and you have to do a lot with oh, those cards. Oh, we can kill two we can kill the two and the three with this card. We right? can, but then we're No gonna... no, it's two strength from them. Oh no, you can oh, only kill one guy. No, right. that card sucks. That card's actually pretty bad because it yeah. buffs that middle. But that buffing that middle guy doesn't matter because we're gonna oh, just, we're gonna you're wreck right. the middle. Let's right? do it. So let's yeah, do just it. do it. Uh, it's this one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, but then he's gonna get. Oh, whatever. If we play the that weather effect, we'll play the weather effect last. Yeah. All right. Uh, this guy, and who else? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters either. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Nah. All right. So yeah, that gets buffed. So it looks like we made a bad move to him. I think that's I think that's best. Choosing an opponent. Okay, which card to resurrect? All right, a lot of resurrection going on here. Yeah. So I want to finish that thought. The takeaway is, oh my god, he's winning. <laughs> All right, we Take gotta res though. Do we? We don't have anything good to res though. Well, we might as well do it, right? Yeah, just do it. That's all we have. Yeah. So the takeaway is that you have way these way are, fewer these cards. Aren't, not terrible. No, these they're not terrible. Sixes, right. But, so he's winning, but we're going to negate his strongest card yeah, on which, our next turn with that, and he, that fog. Yeah, he still has three cards. We serve her who huh. is yeah, I think we're going to lose again. Oh, I hope not. He's doing a lot of resurrection here. I wonder how many copies of this he has. He has at least, I guess, three. I guess at the max. Yeah. Uh, all we can do is play this. We have to play That's this right now. That's all we have, now. and yeah. then we lose. And, then he has, and he also has two more cards. Yes. Oh, well, just drop it. Yes. Cool. So that was a close one. I would assume that he has a way to get two strength from two cards. He must. Yeah. And we've played our hero power. Oh my god. 138. <laughs> the numbers in this game are very high. It's hard to... If I feel like you need a calculator to play this game. Like you should just have a calculator on your desk. Or, yeah. you, or you can tab out to your calculator. Yeah. Because I'm having... Oh. Normally in... That was the second round. That was the second round. Yeah, but we lose. Yeah, we lose. Well, unless our, our cow can beat... We only, draw, we only drew one card there, I noticed. Yeah, why did we only draw one card? Is it two in the second round and maybe one in the last round? Maybe. The tutorial, also, I want to throw this out there, is not uh, fully fleshed out. And I, I'm just, again, making a wild assumption that it's going to be fleshed out later on. But it didn't explain weather effects in the detail that I wanted. Uh, you know, or the graveyard effects, or these icons that you see on all these cards. I think after a while, they're pretty self-explanatory. But So we have a cow. Yeah. <laughs> But if you're just coming into this brand new, you might be confused like me, and you're going to want to go on the wiki and look everything up. Okay, so, well, we lost three games. This has never happened before, I swear. Right, right we does. lost three? Yeah. Yeah, we lost a lot of games. 138. So that was a good deck he had. I guess that's it. Yeah. I think that's, uh, hopefully that you've uh, gotten gotten a taste for what Gwent is all about. Oh, he GG'd us, good. But also, you only gain experience if you win a match. So I think these each represent one match one. So the next one we win will get us this, which is probably like an, some ore, I'm guessing. 
Uh, and every time you level up, I guess there's a significant oh, you bonus. Get a prize? Yeah, I only leveled up twice, as you can see here. Maybe you get like a pack or something. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, GS not going to wreck you. Not this time. No, it didn't happen. But maybe next time. So I'm really enjoying this a lot. I'm playing it. I'm also playing Hearthstone at the same time, but I'm really enjoying this. I want there to be more daily stuff, more stuff to keep you coming back. Because I feel like the model is a breath of fresh air and it plays so completely differently from Hearthstone that you know, like comparing them is it's definitely not very useful and they feel like two completely different games. Yeah. You know, different styles of, of game. Yeah, I'm gonna say just I haven't I haven't had as much experience with this because I did play Duelist by myself, but my initial impressions compared to this, I like Duelist a little more. Okay. I liked the board the board aspect of it and being able to move the characters around like a chessboard right. kind of and it's a little bit closer to Hearthstone. But, uh, and also I liked the, the sound effects and the graphics in that a little bit more than yeah. this. I kind of like yeah. the, I guess the pixel art style and the fact that every unit was fully animated with attacks and walk animations and everything. I thought that was kind of neat. And I like the art style in that a little bit more than this, just because it's, I like more, um, it's a little bit more fun. And this is a little closer to a more realistic style, but yeah. still both very professional and it's just a different kind, different those are just uh, taste things, I guess. Yeah. And, but, yes, as mainly for the gameplay, though. I think I like Duelist a little bit more, but this seems pretty fun, too. Yeah. I've heard people spending ridiculous amount of hours just playing Gwent in The Witcher 3. If, that, if that's you, then I'm yeah. sure you're going to love this. Yeah, this seems to be just, just that expanded. So, I can't say check it out because they're, you know, they're limiting the amount of keys they give away. So, I hope you get a key, Watcher. I really hope you do. If you do, let us know. We'll see you later.